Hey entrepreneurs, it's Sam Day here from Day Tips um, and I know it's been a long time since I put a YouTube video out. It's my first video in like five months or something, it's crazy. Um, so sorry to leave you without a video for so long. Um, and in this video, I'm going to be kind of tackling starting a business in 2023 using some of the techniques and the methods that have been working. But before I get into the main video, I kind of feel like it would be offensive not to tell you why I've been away for so long. Um, so 2022 was such a busy year. There's so much I was doing. Um, as some of you know, I've produced courses on behalf of LinkedIn, like marketing courses. Keep going, yeah? Yep, a little bit more. Okay, now rotate it a little bit towards the in, towards the sofa, if it rotates. Uh, right there. And I was absolutely swamped with marketing courses last year. Like they gave me so many. And one that I'm most proud of is one where I collaborated with a lot of my creator friends. So Ocean, I've had on this channel uh, before. He's a YouTube creator and a friend of mine. I got him interviewed on that particular course. My friend Vina V, who's been on this channel so many times that you guys should know by now, she was interviewed on the course. For me, I've had companies reach out because my content is engaging or it aligns with their values. So a really kind of blunt, honest answer is for me personally, it hasn't impacted. The more I've grown, I feel it hasn't actually impacted only in the sense of maybe other people. Uh, my friend Raven from the Cyber Nerds, my other friend Dynamic Dio, who's a TikToker. Uh, I feel like throughout the journey, for me, for me to be able to answer that as correct as possible, I feel like the journey plays a part to that. So uh, the kind of people that you meet, uh, the kind of conversations that you have helps with your brand, helps with opportunities. Well, uh, I got to interview them and ask them questions about how they built their platforms and how they make their career on the internet, on different social media platforms. So that's a fantastic course, Once one that I'm really proud of and I'm so happy that it's live on LinkedIn Learning's platform. So I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. I, I was also working with the European Commission last year as well, uh, teaching social media and uh, you know how they can use it a little bit more effectively. So that took up a lot of my time as well as if you've been following me on social media, you may know that I collaborated with Canva last year. Um, I'd done some work with DH Gate as well. Uh, in terms of producing a course for them, uh, for them to put on Udemy. So it's been a really intense year and I took December off to kind of just try and relax. And I, one of my New Year's resolutions is I actually want to start putting on this channel more of the tips and advice that I'm getting and learning from the success from my clients and the success that I'm seeing working with some of these bigger brands, because a lot of these bigger brands like LinkedIn and you know Canva or whatnot, when they share things with me that's working for them, I wanna be able to share that with you guys as well in terms of you know things you should be thinking about and you should be doing to help you to improve, to start your businesses, to grow your businesses online. Um, and so that's what this video is all about, trying to tell you what is working right now like what things should you be focused on in 2023 to help you to start a, an online business or to grow your business online um, and one of the first things that is really been kind of on my mind for a while is what is that one thing that's going to be your cash cow that one product that one service that you offer that is high in demand and lots of people want it from you and sometimes this is difficult to know at first. If you're new to selling online, if you're new to e-commerce or whatever business you're in, you might not necessarily know what product or what service people are really going to want from you or really going to need. So for example, my very first business was in e-commerce um, and there was, there was two or three products that I would consider my cash cows um, that regardless, you know, come rain or shine, these products would sell for me uh, every single month consistently they would generate the sales. Um, so I would definitely focus on that in terms of building your business in, in 2023 is can you find a product or a service that is consistent 
and is there a way for you to kind of make sure you don't go out of stock of that particular product? Is, is there a way for you to kind of automate some of the processes in terms of selling and promoting that product as well? Another thing to focus on in 2023 when it comes to your marketing is to focus on the lifetime value of your customer. So a lot of times when I'm consulting a, a new company or an individual starting a business, they're so heavily focused on making sales. Like how many sales can I make this week or how many sales can I make this month? And making sales is great, but what you want to be doing to build a successful online business is you want to be acquiring customers. And there's a very big difference between making sales and acquiring customers. So I'm gonna use this as an example. So recently I went to a restaurant and I absolutely hated my experience. The food was okay, but the customer service was dreadful. It was terrible. I never want to go there again. I would never recommend it to anybody um, because of how the customer service was. So they have now lost a customer. They've lost future business. And that's something that we need to keep in mind and we need to be aware of as entrepreneurs, as online entrepreneurs. What experience are people having when they come across your website or they come across your business online? because if they have a positive experience, you can turn a sale into a customer. A sale essentially is when someone comes to your website and makes a purchase, a one-off purchase. A customer is someone who might come back and consistently buy from you. It is really expensive to acquire a new sale. So to get someone to buy from you for the very first time, it can take a lot of money, it can take a lot of time and a lot of resources so what you want to make sure you're doing is you're retaining those customers so that they're coming back and buying more. And I've spoken about, you know, ways in which you can do this in other videos here on this channel. I've been speaking about it for years, you know, things such as email marketing, um, also uh, having cookie retargeting as well is really big. And, and there's, there's so many developments and changes around cookie retargeting. That I'm going to be speaking about uh, this year on the channel but it's not just the, the the obvious things like the cookie retargeting and the email marketing and the technical side of things but it's also about the quality of your product and your service so making sure you're putting out quality so people have a good experience and they want to do business with you again so my third tip one of the things that you really want to focus on this year and moving forward to, to build a successful online brand and business is to focus on your social media and your email list so you want to be putting out content that will benefit your target audience or your target customer. So one of the things that I take some of my new clients through is really understanding who their target customer is. So who is it that you're trying to serve? Uh, who is it that's going to be benefiting from your product or your service, your end user? And who is your customer? Who is the person who's going to be buying this product? Um, can you create some sort of avatar for that person? Some sort of, you know, name, put a face to that person. So you kind of can personify almost that person um, and target them when you're creating your content. What content's gonna bring them value? I'm gonna be putting more videos out about social media, uh, the kind of things that as a business and a brand, you want to be putting out because it's one thing growing an audience on social media, but it's different growing an audience to be an influencer and growing an audience to actually run a business there are a few fundamental components. Um, like I said, I've worked with a lot of uh, big name clients last year. Um, and one of the reasons why I have such a good catalog of clients is because my social media is one run like a business and not just run uh, like an influencer. So those are some of the things I'm gonna be teaching is how to monetize and how to make money and how to get customers and sales through your social media and not just the views and the follower count, which is important, but how do you actually, you know, make social media work for your business? Um, so make sure you're subscribed to this channel if you're not already so you don't miss all of those important tips when I do put them out on this channel. I promise I will be putting out a lot more videos a lot and a lot more content over the, the next coming weeks. Um, so make sure you stay tuned. Click that bell notification button, please, um, on this channel so you don't miss when those videos go live. Um, but I do also have the formula. Um, which is the step-by-step -step guide essentially to a lot of the things that I talk about here on my YouTube channel, but it breaks it down in a little bit more of a simpler way for you. Um, and you can download that on my website, daytips.com forward slash the formula. Um, I'll leave a link to it somewhere in the description and I'll leave a link somewhere on this screen as well. Um, but yeah, I really do hope that this is a successful year for you. I'm gonna do my best to help 
in terms of the business sides of things. But how has business been for you? Um, I hope things have been great. Do you have any video suggestions? Let me know in the comment section down below. But until next time, guys, have a great day and I'll see you soon.